right this is gonna come across completely unprofessional i'm not gonna have anyone edit this one but i'm gonna get everything out best as i can speak from the heart all that shit right first of all i gotta address the elephant in the room that is the fact that i've sent this to my coach i've sent them this video he's gonna watch over it i'd imagine at some point maybe i'll skip ahead i don't fucking know what he'll do, but i'm gonna send this to him and I'm going to address everything that's been happening with boxing for the last three years, right? I need to go back. And, you know, it feels like it's been this circle. There's been this massive circle. And all this stuff I've been doing for the past year, you know, starting this channel, helping out so many young men with their mental health problems, speaking of gratitude, journaling, presence, staying off social media, all of that stuff, right? That was good. And, you know, this, making these videos does fulfill me, definitely. And it's still, like, my main purpose. But I can't run away from what originally, like, changed my life. I can't run away from it for so long. I can't. So it's like, it all, I was boxing. And then it came all around to self-improvement. Discussing my learning lessons, you know, fighting depression in 2020, 2021. Going past all those suicide attempts and all those bad moments in my life. And then just came right back to that. And I remember how this all started. I remember why I stopped boxing in the first place. And it was because I took a really bad loss. Well, it wasn't even that bad a loss because it was a split decision loss in 2019. And I missed out on the Scottish Development Champions, Development Championship, it's called now. It used to be called the Novices back then. But I remember I, what felt like I lost a bit of myself that day. I felt like I lost my will to like go on. Like I was concussed, I was spewing, I was in A&E. And you know, it was a split decision, but didn't feel like it at all. I was pretty badly beaten. beaten. And after that, I tried to get back into boxing, but nothing was hitting the same. It just wasn't. And what happened after that was I would just go out drinking all the time, you know, just see my friends and just waste time. And I've always spoken on this, if you don't have a purpose, if you don't live without goals or something to live for, then you're gonna just get comfortable. And if you get comfortable, that's when everything will come out and that's when everything will hit you. And I had to learn that the hard way. If you don't have a purpose, then you are only gonna seek comfort through like short term dopamine hits. And you're just gonna go out drinking, you're gonna be on your phone, you're gonna watch porn, you're gonna play video games for 12 hours a day. You're gonna do all these bad things, right? because you don't love yourself and you haven't given yourself time to process things. You don't know where to go with your life, right? I was lost, I was completely lost. I had one dream and my dream was honestly to become a professional boxer. And I had to accept that that wasn't gonna happen and that broke me. Like, see when people think of heartbreak, oh yeah, I got cheated on or whatever, that was like my heartbreak. That hurt so much and like, because of the life I may have portrayed on social media for the last two years, it made it seem like, oh no, I was having fun, I was at Creamfields, I was at all this stuff. I wasn't happy. But then when 2022 came about, and I was kind of going back to boxing, but it was, it was okay. But what I found out was, I then in February discovered self-improvement. I discovered the value of spreading content like this online, helping people through your struggles, and I did well. You know, I went from 15 subscribers to 600 and something right now. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know, I did well, and you know, especially since in October, I went from 80 to about 350. And you know, ever since then, it's just been going up, and that's great. I'm really happy about that, and I'm gonna keep pressing this message on. But when I saw that, when I saw my boxing gym had a home show, and I went to, I was very drunk. But I went to and I just cheered them on and then they posted something about their home show yesterday and I just I just thought to myself, especially because one of the boys is coming back to boxing as well, I just sat there and thought to myself like, you know, this is fun. Like, you know, going to the gym and building a body is fun, you know, and spreading all this is fun and, you know, that's good, that's great. But it was originally hard work and now it's just getting like, oh yeah, it's just routine, it's just normal now. And truth be told, I need something to challenge myself. And I was so scared of coming back to boxing for so long because I thought everybody's going to beat me now. Everybody is going to batter me to shreds. But then I realized, why Why am I running away from something I fear? Why, why, after all I've spread on this channel about 
fear is like if you get through fear then that's it you will actually feel achieved in yourself because pain and pleasure must be balanced you know i wasn't chasing pain if you chase pain and you experience pain you're going to feel good about yourself but if you if i can't speak if you chase pleasure then you're just going to feel bad about yourself after because you're going to keep getting subjected to it and then it's eventually going to hit you and you're going to feel bad and it's going to hurt so i thought to myself why am i running away from pain Why am I running away from this? Even though it's something I love and every single time there's boxing on every single weekend, I think to myself, there's a little bit of me that just wishes I was the guys fighting on TV. I had to deal with that for a long time. And it's getting to the point now where if I don't do something about it, then I'm going to regret this for the rest of my life. Because it's nearly been four years since I've fought. In November, it'll be four years. And I'm not... My sight isn't on becoming a professional boxer anymore. It's just doing it because I need to be challenged. I need something to take me out of my comfort zone. The very thought of training with weights in the morning and then going to the boxing gym at night is an exciting one. You know, balancing this, balancing weightlifting, balancing learning from my driving test now because I got my theory booked for the 20th. You know, going to boxing, doing all these things, that challenges me. That makes me feel busy. That makes me feel motivated. That makes me feel like I'll be pursuing something. And I've always spoke about how much I love the chase. I love the pursuit of something. I need, I need things to chase. And you know, yeah, I can chase subscribers. I can chase like all this content. Like, oh yeah, here's how to, here's how to build a body and all that. Yeah, and that's good. And I enjoy making some of that stuff. But at the end of the day, I need to grow. I need to chase discomfort. And I need to be the man I'm meant to be. And you know, one of the things that's in my favour is the fact that mentally I am so much stronger than I was in 2019. I will be able to assess every single one of my thoughts and whether they're beneficial or negative or detrimental or whatever. I honestly will feel so much better about myself and my confidence has skyrocketed in the past year. It's like, yeah, I'm going to get battered, but bring it on. Honestly, like I chase, I chase discomfort. I will chase the jabs in the face. I'll chase the bloody noses. I'll chase the concussions because it's so much better than just being idle. And yeah, like sure, weightlifting, cool. You know, I can build a nice body and that'll look sick. But I just crave fighting and I crave war and I just, I I need that shit. Ugh, war sounds cringy, but you know what I mean. I just crave that feeling again. And I need to... I need to face it head on. I need to go back to the gym, say hi to my coach Sam, say hi to the boys, take a few hard beatings, balance my weightlifting and boxing, and then when it comes down to fight time or exhibition time and Sam's like, yeah, you got to cut down to this weight, no problem. I'll do it. And yeah, okay, what if that means I'm losing my gains for the past two years? It's cool. Go. But I gotta chase what makes me feel fulfilled. So, like at the end of the day, it's nice looking cool, but at the end of the day, I wanna be functional too. So, I gotta do what I gotta do. And to be honest, I'm quite excited. Let's let's get challenged, Let's, let's do this. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. It's going to be unlinked for a few hours because I'm just going to send this to my coach for him to watch and then I'll upload it. Hope you guys like enjoy this video. Leave a like, subscribe, all that shit, you know. If we hit five likes on this video, I'll chuck my small dog out the window. I'm so happy I'm going to be fighting again. <laughs>